To run a probability simulation in StatCrunch, we would first navigate to Applets here on the upper left corner of the screen, and then we would determine which of those experiments we would want to run. So for example, if we want to do a coin flip and whatnot, we would go to experiment. And we could roll a coin, uh, flip a coin, roll a die, draw cards, draw birthdays, do a spinner. So for example, flipping a coin. If we want to do a coin flip, we would just click the button and we can do it whatever number of times along with this particular animation. The other applets would run the same exact way for experiments such as drawing a card, put the button, and then the card would be drawn from there. Likewise, if we wanted to do to um, run one of the games in the applet section, we would go to games here, and then to determine if a, a dice is fair, let's make a deal on are you psychic, so for example, um, this has different companies on here, but if you just hit this compute button, and roll the die a certain number of times, like for example, if we do it once, we get one data value. If we do it five times, we would do it, get five more. Then we call us to do 100 rolls once this is finished. Okay. And then we could see it, it gives various prob probabilities involving whether or not that dice is fair. Uh, likewise, the simulation one on here, down here near the bottom, this one also allows us to run different experiments. So, for example, if I do the birthday problem on here, we have a certain number of students, we want a certain number of common birthdays, hit compute, and choose the number of crosses that we want, for example one cross, would allow us to generate a certain number of birthdays, which as you can see it did on there, none of them had the same birth date. We could use five crosses, and those will slowly go as well, determining that on there, and we could do a thousand crosses to do the same exact type of thing. So that is how we could run these different applets and save StackCrunch. Thank you.